Hey there, signs of Virgo. This is Kim here to do your next 48 hour reading. And I am using the Energy Oracle to start off with and then Light Sears Tarot with the, um, what is that one? Modern, the Modern Witch Tarot. <laughs> I kind of doubted myself there for a second. All right, Virgo, calling in your spirit guides, your angels. Thank you so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you those who have gotten a private reading with me. Let's get this going. Angels, spirit guides, give us messages clear and concise, please, with this old deck, the energy deck, the energy oracle. Virgo. What's happening? I feel clumsy here with these cards. I don't know. Just, oh, maybe you have an attachment to something or someone or an addiction or a behavior. Sometimes we can have attachments to an unhealthy way of doing something until we're made very aware of it. And then we might detach. If we detach, we're in in for a really big journey coming up. See? Scenic view, crossroads. It's like you have all these options open to you. Um, if you'll make room for more good by letting go of any attachment, that's just too heavy. That's too much for you to really take on anymore, right? What else do you have for Virgo? What else do you have for Virgo? So Virgo's detaching or realizing that there is an attachment. That in itself can sometimes be the work, you know, of realizing when something is unhealthy for us. When when does it become, when does the point get blurred between trying and not quitting on someone and then it just being like an unhealthy attachment? You know what I mean? I think, I feel like it's, it's saying that. The temple path, I feel like you're on your way to your purpose. Um, when I get this temple path, um, that's what I feel, and, and I feel like you're being really guided by the spirits around you, by your ancestors. You can probably, some of you all can probably really tap into them. Some of you all are seeing energy um, and feeling energy a lot different than everybody else, and that's really cool, too. So there's something about Maybe letting go of, of a certain outcome you or expectation that you have because the way that you don't expect the detour, the divine detour is going to lead you to your, your destination. What is yours is yours and nobody else will get that. Nobody else can stop it for you. It's, it's yours. What is divine destiny is divine destiny. Ooh, nice. Nice. You literally... <laughs> Really, Virgo, <laughs> you're about to meet your soulmate energy, guys. Your soul purpose has to do with a business, has to do with not only you being able to make money really well, be your own entrepreneur, your own boss, but you can receive it too. Um... The black cat, a lucrative win here. Uh, there's just something really um, excellent about this. And if you notice, there's other shadows here. There's other people surrounding this person. This man holding a coin. It's basically king and queen of pentacles. That's how I'm going to read it. So you can see shadows. Like there's other people awing and admiring whatever this creation is. And if you are you know, with somebody and you're wondering, is this the right person for me? Oh my goodness. I think you have met your match or you're about to meet your match. <laughs> Let's put it that way. Let's go ahead and get something else. So Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy may be here, right? I love the purple too 
on her dress, on her cat. I was thinking that. Angel of love, I was thinking about you. <laughs> I just had a feeling that love was, love was going to come out. Okay. Angel of love. You are well thought of by your angel of love. Call on the angel of love who is assisting in divine events, serendipitous events, things that you call coincidence to help you meet who you're supposed to meet on your path. Remember to show appreciation and gratitude for and stopping to smell and look at these flowers in life because, because everything's unfolding for you. Nice. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this tarot reading, guys. This is beautiful. This is really beautiful. Now, if you haven't set off on this journey, this is going to be like something you've never done before. And the prosperity here and wealth is like amazing. It's looking really, really good. <laughs> really, really good. I mean, look at all her luxuries and stuff like that. And look at his gorgeous setting of where he is. She's like royalty here. About to go on a journey. You are about to go on a journey. One of love, gratitude, appreciation, and like more comes in. More comes in. More things for you to have gratitude for. The universe likes to see you happy, and that's why you need to always let her know what you, what to be happy for. <laughs> Mother Earth cares. And then there you go, <laughs> really. Ace of Cups, brand new, loving. I'm telling you, there's something. This adventure is a gift from the universe. It is part of your divine purpose, whatever this soulmate match is. Um, if it's not like soulmate match, it's the divine and feminine aspects of all things money in your life and family and, and a lot of um mastering a lot of love here basically a lot of love and it's divine time for this to happen because it feels like there was something in your space that you were just like not satisfied about and then bam i don't know if this other person is representing the star energy this aquarius energy or it could be Cancer Energy or Sagittarius with the Temperance. But it is divine time for um, you to meet the person of your dreams. For your wishes to come true. For your business to grow. Make sure that um, we don't, you know, grow too apathetic or bored acting. You know, like, I don't care. Like... You know what I mean? Because there's something that you might miss if you just turn. Just turn your head and notice there's something that you might miss if you don't. Six of Pentacles. This is something that's going to be reciprocal. In the past, I feel like you just stayed with somebody because it was um, well, it was on paper or it was just worth the try. You know what I mean? But we get we overextended the try. Um, the Eight of Swords, other than this being like something that you find that's reciprocal, it's true success if you want it. There could be something holding you back that, that feels like your own self-imposed limitation. Because if you look at the Eight of Swords, her um, the things in the mirror are not really real, right? They're their own fears and anxieties. They're mm, guilt over what you feel like maybe you should do. There feels like a little bit of codependence here, but we're breaking free. We've put in as much work as we can at this moment, and it's time for new love with the Page of Wands. It's time for something new, especially especially with your um, combining it with the Ace of Cups on the bottom to you guys. And then Page of Cups is what you're thinking about. The King of Cups is in reverse, so there could be something that's getting you a little upset. Somebody also, it might be separate that somebody owes you money or could owe you money and is going to have to pay you back if you help them. That's like another, <laughs> I know that's random, but somebody sees you as as having well off, as being well off here. Um, the Tower energy is you. This is your energy underlying it. You will go through any shakeup to have your dream come true. 
to have your uh, wishes granted, which is what this is all about. And I mean, and finish with the, the good news. This is this is great. All right, so the tower energy, let's go ahead and get this over. What is this tower about for us? Why do we feel like it's a tower moment? Okay, four of wands. Either this is a sudden commitment and a quick marriage, <laughs> or this is uh, placing your roots somewhere else or deciding to start anew. Mm. Accepting that the finish line might be further up ahead than you thought. It's not a bad thing, though. You're still meeting milestones. Um, twin flame energy could be a challenge here. A past thing could be a challenge. <sighs> a lot of movement, too. A lot of movement. You feel like a lot of movement. Something feels very emotional. Okay, what did we postpone in the past? It's probably a split. But the six of wands, something that we didn't tell anybody about. Six, six, keep your thoughts positive. This could lead to a off balance, you know, with your thoughts. So positive thoughts, positive thoughts. What's the start about here? What's the start about? The queen of pentacles as a challenge. This could be, this could be somebody that kind of is like interfering here. Or, no, I don't know, guys. You know, it's really more coming across as, like, your wishes come true. Whatever this is, like, maybe in the past, try to home business and something might have not been successful in the past that ended up turning out successful. What's the Four of Cups? What are we absolutely over? What are we over? Disappointment disappointment we're over feeling disappointed in a situation we're over it so we're ready to let go of the past temperance in reverse divine time for what <laughs> divine time to wow uh, new beginning ace of cups new beginning because the challenge is everything is not fine stop telling everybody that everything is fine with this person when you're obviously over it and know it's not fine <laughs> You're still in your head about it, staying with a situation because you feel like you're obligated to. Um, I'm not going to say one way or another really what, what you should do, just what's going on. The King of Cups, what makes you mad? The Empress energy. Um, either dealing with somebody's mom makes you mad or their mom, you know, triggers you or somebody's... Uh, mom you know what I mean like your your boyfriend's kid's mom or something something like that you know what I'm saying the empress energy something about that is making you upset and, and maybe it is waiting for some kind of money and I don't know maybe some of that to come to fruition we sure have a lot of pentacles here and I have a lot of the cards that are like new beginning new start the empress energy really good energy creative energy what's the eight of swords about the two of swords and the king of swords getting back your control taking back your control here take back your control and um after a pretty it feels like a hurtful situation um and, and don't put any more delays regarding some kind of decision that you have to make. Don't be attached to something just for the sake of being attached to something is the message. The message is that you've done all you can do here. And if, in the fact, I think you end up on the outcome of somebody owing you something. But we have page of wands here too. So brand new beginning. Virgo energy. <laughs> Mm, might not be feeling like yourself, might be very, very excited about this Page of Wands energy, right? Oh, so might be really excited about that. Look at that. There's a chariot and the sun. <laughs> really, you should feel happy then because that's the change that's coming in. After you've waited a while, that's the change that comes in. Something starts to move forward really quick. The sun lights up the sky. Cancer and Leo energy is beautiful. 
It's just beautiful. I love it. You're going to mend family issues. Don't worry about those. I feel like you're more worried about your obligation than getting control of a situation. Those problems will mend. You take care of you first. Okay, and let's grab something from this deck and then um, the Real Talk deck from Etsy. Let me get something from it, and then I'm going to wrap up your reading. Virgo, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you guys got something out of this reading, as usual. And hang in there, because there's some change, and there's some action. You all could be also traveling. Um, the sun, wow, brand new beginnings. Passionate. Out for some play. Vacation, maybe. Action. You are the director of your life, and sometimes you have to yell action to yourself. Take the initiative to make progress and move forward with your endeavors. It's never too late to start. Um, and it says it's never too late to start. Use this as much as you want to take action. Protected. Imagine being washed over by magical waters that cleanse and protect you. Set your intentions and move forward. Again, a message to move forward without fear. It says, if you are fully protected, what can stop you? That's right. Nothing can. Nice. And your angel guidance reading card is 10 of completions. Angel of dreams. Pay attention to your dreams. Angel of dreams. There may be something in your dreams or there may be something about your dreams. Hey, you might meet a person that was in your dreams. And Angel of Decisions with the eight. This might have to do with uh, what you do with the money. I'm telling you, the eight, financial gain and a lucrative win. You have a lot of signs for new beginnings and lots of money. So sending you love and light. Bye, Virgo.